Hello, what's up guys? It is I, Deltre, and we are back with some more Fire Emblem Awakening Lunatic Classic. I don't know why I say we. Y yes, guys, it is I, Deltre, and my five other alter egos. <laughs> Basically, I'm insane. Right, Fire Emblem Awakening. Last time, we began our journey into the world of Elise and came across some very threatening new enemies. I guess we're going to see more about that today. These Risen, man, they're going to be the bane of my existence, I have no doubt in my mind. Of course, once again, you guys had a million <laughs> really good comments, really funny ones, really informative ones as well. I think I want to try and do, like, five. I think five seems like that would be the magic number, just about. Evan Tamal, oh my god, man. Who would I use the speed wing on? Making a good unit better or a bad unit decent? God, that's a good point. Whoever said that must be really smart and handsome. The good unit, of course, couldn't agree more. Hmm. 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 <laughs> hey, shut up, man. <laughs> I don't want to hear it. I stand by what I said. I stand by what I said 100%. Dr. Anime says, Lisa, I've heard this is called amnesia. Frederick, it's called a load of Pegasus dung. Hey, you. Actually, it's called cocaine, but I like to call it spirit dust. Oh my god, I'm coming down! I'm about to have a bad time! <laughs> hey, you know what? I've just realized. Should a doctor really be promoting this kind of behavior? I don't know. What do you mean he's not a real doctor? <laughs> now, this one I just had to share because, believe it or not, there is, in fact, an explanation for the toilet armor. So, okay, here we go. Jared Fayette says... This is certainly going to be a fun LP, knowing you, Deltrain. I'm looking more forward to it. Thank you, man. While I may no longer like Awakening as I once did, it came during a time in my life when I need something to help cheer me up and help me get through, uh, help me get into what has become my favorite video game series. Totally understandable, man. Video games just kind of have that effect, you know what I mean? They can definitely be a nice little pick-me-up. I've had the same experience as well, myself. Not with Fire Emblem, necessarily, believe it or not. Although, I think Fire Emblem Awakening was one of the first games I bought with my own money. Like, after I got my first job. I think this honestly was one of the first games I bought for myself. So there's always that. Uh, but he goes on to say, uh, For that, I will always be thankful to Awakening and what it has done for me. Can't wait to see you play more of this game. Well, thank you. And then, here's the bombshell. Okay. So, 55 minutes is the timestamp. This is when I'm talking about Soli and her toilet armor, right? So, he goes on to say, Okay, now that I've become a lot more intrigued in medieval armors, I really dislike Soli's toilet protection armor. Me too. You know what? I'll try to answer your question the best I can, Deltre, for the hell of, of what the hell it's supposed to be. From my research, I think the front part of it is supposed to be some type of bevor. I think I don't know if I'm saying that right. He actually has links as well. Which show off this armor in higher detail. And you can kind of see it. It sort of looks... Like, part of the stereotypical knight armor, right? If you know what I'm talking about, uh, I'll probably just edit in the pictures, but you'll, you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about. And he says it's a piece of armor that's supposed to protect the neck and would be worn with some type of helmet, like a salad or later on a burgundy. I, I'm not an armor aficionado, I'm gonna be honest. I just find stuff like this really interesting. Uh, and this would also protect the head. And he says he'll leave links to the website, which are down here. I don't know why I'm circling these links, you can't see that. The issue with Sully is that not only is it oversized, but she also has no helmet to go along with it. And that is that is exactly the issue. Because I, if you look at the pictures, you can see it. You can see it. So I, I really don't know what they were thinking, honestly. I have absolutely no idea what the whole back piece behind her head is supposed to be, nor would it be practical beyond completing the toilet motif she's going for. This has been my over-analysis, and have a nice day. Oh, man, thank you. I really appreciate that. Because I feel like I learned something here. Hopefully you guys did as well. And what we've learned is that Fire Emblem Armor is bullshit. Set the Tactician says, Ah yes, Awakening, the game that started it all. I'm so glad that people are starting to say that now. I, I really am. <laughs> Job well done, I say. What really kills me is that so many people didn't get that it was a joke. <laughs> you would not believe the amount of angry people in the comments. Like, I, It actually blows my mind. It's actually unreal to me, but that's a... That, that's honestly a video all into itself, truthfully. Uh, so he says, I find it a little strange how they skip Fire Emblem 1 through 12. So did I. I always thought that was weird to start with number 13. I thought that was supposed to be an unlucky number. But hey, it saved the series, so it must have been doing something right. It saved and started the series. This is the game that introduced many people to the series, including myself. 
I'm so familiar with this game that I can quote lines from it despite skipping most of the dialogue after my first playthrough. It's not the best, but I find it enjoyable. Also, <laughs> and the reason that this one is up here, because this made me laugh. This made me laugh my ass off. I also do like seeing that a lot of people are still willing to come forward and say, Oh yeah, I definitely started with Awakening. Because a lot of people get really mad about that for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> How is that in any way upsetting? But I digress. He says at 4323, clearly, obviously, Deltra, what are you, stupid? Clearly, hey, he was supposed to be playing a harmonica. <laughs> Yo. My dude. <laughs> and you know, it's funny. I actually went back to the footage of the first part, and I audio enhanced it, right? And sure enough, check this out. So there you go, case closed. And lastly, Excadrill Excalibur. Awakening may be one of my least favorite games in the series, but a new Deltria will play on my 20th birthday is an amazing thing in my book. Yeah, I just did this one as an excuse to say happy birthday to this guy in a video. Thank you, dude. I appreciate the support, man. Wait, he... Oh, he replied. Uh, Deltria, whoops, I already used Violent in my new mystery, Lunatic... Oh crap, I actually don't know how to undo that. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, I found it. Okay, so with all that business taken care of, let's go get blasted by chapter two. This one is horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible. <laughs> <sighs> I guess we're just gonna see what happens, honestly. Now, I did see some people asking the differences between Lunatic and Lunatic Plus. I will, I'll talk about that on the map, don't worry. But the basic gist of it is that Lunatic is a lot more flexible. And I have to say, oh ye of little faith, you really think this is going to be a Robin Solo. You actually thought that I wanted to play both Lunatic and Lunatic Plus and they would both be exactly the same. Oh, <laughs> that's just precious. Oh, man, oh, man. <laughs> I'm just messing around, guys. So, this is Elistal, capital of Elise. I've never seen so many people. It appears the capital was spared the chaos we encountered. Thank the gods. I see no evidence of the Great Quake. They must have been limited to the forest. Well, that's a relief. Oh, look! The Exile has come to see us! Get out of here, old man. Why is there always a generic old villager dude? The Exalt is your ruler, yes? Yes, her name is Lady Emran. Is it safe for her to walk in mountain commoners like this? The Exalt is a symbol of peace, Elise's most prized quality. Long ago, at the dawn of our rage, the Fell Dragon tried to destroy the world. But the first Exalt joined forces with the Divine Dragon and laid the beast low. Oh shit, he's talking about Marth, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that Marth is like the... The original Exalted one, or whatever. Hexalt's Emran reminds us all of the peace we fought for then. Shut up, Fred, you had nothing to do with that. With Plegia, I, I think it's supposed to be Plegia, one of you guys said, so... I'll, I'll try. I, no promises at all. No promises at all. <laughs> I don't know. I've never really been a huge stickler for pronunciation. Not like that. It doesn't really bother me. And man, when you've been saying something a certain way for God knows how many years now, oh man, it can definitely be hard to make the change. I'll say that. But I do think that, technically speaking, it's Plegia. With Plegia poking at our borders, the people need her. She's a calming presence when some might otherwise call for war. When the Elysian people are indeed, uh, then the Elysian people are indeed lucky to have her. And have her we shall, for sure, forever. She's also the best big sister anyone could ask for. <laughs> yes, I imagine she, wait, what? She's your, but wouldn't that make you and Crom? And I'm, wait, actually, I don't know who I am. The prince and princess of the realm, yes. You remember Crom's name and not this. You said you were shepherds. And so we are, in a manner of speaking. We just have a lot of sheep. Krom. I mean, Prince Krom. I mean, Pumba. <laughs> Sire, forgive my dreadful manners. Just Krom is fine. I've never been much for formalities. Oh. The Prince and Princess. That explains why Frederick tolerates all the teasing, huh? Oh, indeed. Oh, the sacrifices I make for the good of the realm. Hey. But I'll never be eating bear meat. 
It looks like M is returning to the bell. Oh, he calls her M. <laughs> would you like to meet her? I would. On the other hand, this is kind of silly of Grom. I mean, yeah, Fred is being paranoid and whatnot, but you're just going to bring a stranger right up to the ruler of the free world? Just like that? Haha! -ha. <laughs> it turns out I was a spy for Plegia all along! Die, Exalt! Oh, well, shit. I didn't really see that coming. Krom, Lisa, welcome home. Oh, and good day, Frederick. How fared you all? There, that sounds pretty royal, I think. Well, we shouldn't have any bandit problems for a while. Thank you. Wonderful. Oh, see, that worked out. I'm glad that worked out. And our people. It's all right. Safe as they can be, Em. But we still need to watch the borders. The brigands crossed over from Plegia. Forgive me. Forgive me, my lord. My Pegasus Knight should have intercepted them. Who is Fila? No. No, Fila. Your duty was here with the Exalt. I guess she's like... Uh, Sigrun, right? Basically, <laughs> I... It's kind of... It kind of takes away to compare to other characters in other games, I guess. But this is, this is what this reminds me of. She's basically Sigrun, if I have this right. Commander of the Holy Knights and all that. And besides, we had plenty of help. Mostly, hey, you. What? Ah, you speak of your new companion here. Hmm. This is hey, you. She fought bravely with us against the brigands. I've decided to make her a shepherd. Oh. It sounds as though Elise owes you a great debt of gratitude, hey, you. Not at all, my lady. By the way, <laughs> you guys were killing me with the Hey You Pikachu jokes. I'm not going to lie. Me. I laughed my ass off. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I thought of that just then, but it had to be said. It had to be said by somebody. Forgive me, Your Grace, but I must speak. Hey You claims to have lost her memory, but it's only that, a claim. We cannot rule out the possibility that she is a brigand herself or even a Plegian spy. <laughs> Frederick. I don't get why they're all so mad at him, though. <laughs> he brings up a good point. Yet you allowed her into the castle, Crom. Seriously, dude, what are you thinking? I don't know any dudes. Well, except for that one time we met. <laughs> so I just... Where does the Before Awakening DLC and Fates take place? I'm wondering, because don't you fight Risen in that, or is it... You know what, forget it. I'm done with that game. We're done with that game. It's not going to affect this playthrough. Does this woman have your trust? Yes. Yes, she risked her life for our people. That's good enough for me. Well then, hey you. It seems you've earned Krom's faith, and as such you have mine as well. Oh. Milady. Thank you. But thank you, Frederick, for your prudence as always. Krom and Lisa are blessed to have so tireless a garden. So tireless a garden. <laughs> so tireless a guardian. I do hope that they remember to mention that from time to time. Indeed. They occasionally express something akin to gratitude, Your Grace. <laughs> Fila, I assume that you've heard about the deathly creatures we encountered, yes? Yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. They've been sighted all across Elise. Yes. Krom, we are about to hold council. I was hoping you could join us. Good. Of course. I think that's our cue, hey you. Come on, there's a place I want to show you. Hmm. You know... I'm kind of realizing I don't remember all that much about this game story. Hardly anything at all, in fact. I mean, I, I remember the basic plot points, but... Not nearly as much as I would think, honestly. I mean, I've played this game through a few times. Not as many as other people, that's for sure. Because I, I know some people get really hardcore into this game with, like, the min-maxing and all that. Ah, uh, supports. It's that time. It is about that time. Yeah, we're definitely gonna do supports. I have a serious saving addiction. <laughs> Don't judge me. Yeah, I say we just start with Freddy and Krom. Probably the most important one to get out of all of these, honestly, because by leveling up this support, we're gonna get one extra point of speed when these two are paired up. So before we got three, after this support, we will be getting four. Something else kind of interesting about the pair ups in this game as compared to Fates is that you also get a small fraction of your overall stats added to your para bonus as well. So let's say Krom had 10 speed, right? Well, that would give him an extra point of speed whenever he pairs up with somebody. So instead of him giving 4 points of speed to Freddy, for example, he'd be giving 5 points of speed to Freddy. If he had 10 speed. He doesn't, but... 
That's something to keep in mind as well. I think you can get up to three points extra in a stat by doing this. So if Krom had 30 speed, he'd be giving three speed uh, on top of the three speed that he already gives, right? And he would also be getting an additional speed boost depending on the support level of the two partners. So you can get some really crazy bonuses in this game, like plus nine or plus ten even in the most extreme cases. Something to keep in mind, for sure. I've completed my patrol of the encampment, my lord. All appears to be in order. I found no sign of the enemy nearby. I believe we are safe here for the night. Good. Good to hear. Thank you, Frederick. Ah. While on my rounds, I took it upon myself to inspect our weaponry as well. I placed any items that showed exceptional wear outside your pavilion. Be your choice to sell or repair them, sire. I recommend swift action. Oh, I like that. This is like the tutorial support. Oh, well, you have been busy. Your work ethic can always impress, Frederick. I almost feel lazy by comparison. No. Nonsense. I've done nothing more than my duty as a Knight of Elise. <laughs> yeah, I've done nothing at all besides solo the first two maps. You right, Fred. You right. <laughs> Humble this guy. Ho, oh, and beg pardon, my lord, but I notice you often cause a ruckus when training. With that in mind, I reinforce the tents near any open areas you'd like to use. Forgive me. Ah, uh, yes, I see. Sorry for the trouble. Really? No trouble at all, my lord. Happy to help. Also, with the nights growing colder, I procured blankets from a nearby village. I have readied a variety of colors so you might pick that which suits you best. If I may be so bold, sire, peach would seem best to flatter your complexion. I don't know, I would've went with, like, blue, though. Or, well, he's already got a lot of blue, I suppose. Yeah, exactly! Exactly, Fred, I'm glad we're on the same page. See, geniuses think alike. That's all this proves. But perhaps blue, just to be safe. Yes, that's best. Blue it is! Or even red, right? Complimentary colors and all that? Here you are, my lord, and two sets of spares, just in case. Hmm. Frederick, do you never tire? Of course not, my lord. I'm the Jagan, after all. I'm here to serve. Ah, and one final thing. I've taken measures to raise troop numbers and morale. I had an artisan create posters emblazoned with your noble image. It's my lord in a bold pose, <laughs> naked. <laughs> and I was... <laughs> I was very strict with the instructions. After all, who knows better than me? Uh, save a scale in one hand and a sword in the other. And at your feet I scrolled our new recruiting motto. Crom wants you. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, Crom wants you, alright. <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, Frederick, what have you done? I had them pinned inside each and every tent. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm speechless. <laughs> Surely the other troops will be thrilled to rally behind their common leader, my lord. Huh? Wait, wait, you did what? You said you wouldn't tell anybody about that. And who's... You hung this picture... And where... What? Uh, <laughs> Crumb's having a meltdown, man. Oh, sir, there's nothing to be ashamed of. <laughs> you posted my naked picture, Frederick. <laughs> Indeed. No need for thanks, my lord. Merely doing my duty. And that concludes my report. Rest well, sire. Listen. But Frederick, wait. We really need to talk about this. <sighs> and he's gone. Oh, gods, I've got to tear those posters down before anyone sees them. <laughs> So Frederick, how did he know what to tell the artist? <laughs> All right, no less than seven inches. Seven inches. Crom sees the picture. Oh, this isn't accurate at all. It's at least nine. Sorry, my lord. <laughs> Maybe that's why Crom is so flustered by all this. Maybe that poster is about to show something that he'd rather people not know about himself. I don't know. God, is he always so childish? Yes, yes, yes. Sully, not Sully. Lisa, and hey you. Hey, you! Where are you? Uh... Huh? There you are! I was just... Oh, you're sleeping. <sighs> huh? <sighs> you must be really wiped out. Not that I blame you, getting wrapped up in all this. Hey, <laughs> looks like it's time to quietly, gently... Hold your nose! <laughs> Why? <laughs> Gah! Blah! What? Risen wolves! Risen Whiting Wolves! Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if I were an artist, this would be my top priority. I can tell you that right now. Risen riding on the backs of wolves, dual wielding swords. Obviously. 
It reminds me of that still image from uh, Radiant Dawn, with Altina riding on the back of a lion with the Allen Dite and the Ragnall. Like, <laughs> how? <laughs> oh, man. I'm sorry, I can't be the only one getting a crazy mental image about this, yeah? Come on. That's what we need in the next game. Three houses right here. I want Wolf Riders. Wolf Riders. To hell with Wyvern Riders. Uh, Wolf Riders. That's the new thing. They're all... Wait. Wait a moment. <laughs> okay, Lisa, you're scaring me. Sorry. Blah. Blarg. Oh, gods, that was hilarious. <laughs> Lisa, gods bless it. I was fast asleep, as I usually am. And dreaming of risen and wolves, apparently. <laughs> so this is where Odin gets it, I take it. I'm sorry, I tried to resist, I really did. But it was just too perfect. Who does such things? Is that really how your parents raised you? My parents are dead. Oh, oh. <laughs> and there it is. I, I don't know. I never really knew my parents. Oh. Oh. All right. That was. <laughs> is the guy version of Robin this awkward too? Because I know that there's actually a difference between the two. Like they have totally different supports depending on whether you're girl Robin or guy Robin. So I'm just curious, because I almost never play as Guy Robin, because it's just, it's just worse, like, gameplay-wise. Hey, don't look at me, man. I didn't make the game. Those are just kind of the facts. <laughs> Why would you not want Laura Bailey to be the best unit? That's all I want to know. Give me five good reasons right now. You can. You can. Oh, don't worry about it. I know you didn't mean anything by it. I'm just really depressed now, is all. And actually, there's something else that I should be apologizing for. Whatever it is, I'm sure I can forget it if you can forgive my heartless comment. Right. Really, that's great. Oh, I was so sure you were going to be so angry. <laughs> See, I was kind of doodling a pic of you in your big new book of battle strategies. And then I kind of spilled the ink and kind of ruined the book. Kind of completely. Oh, but don't worry, it was a very flattering picture. You were totally naked. <laughs> Why is everybody doing this? I really, really, really didn't mean to. <laughs> What? But that was a rare text. I had just started to. Oh, I'm so angry. Uh, I mean, it's it's fine. Accidents happen. Gonna kill her. Oh, phew. Lisa was never to be heard from again. Hey, you and Sully. So I know very little about hmm. Sully. All I know is I'm glad that somebody explained what this thing on her neck was, so you've been spared toilet jokes for the remainder of the LP. Only thing I'm really confused about now is the pronunciation of this. Please, oh please, God, tell me it's Bevor. Right? Please? Because I don't want to be going around saying, Hello, my name is Sully, and this is my beaver. Ah, uh, we almost took the high road. Ah, crap, come on, Sully, get your damn act together. Hey. Sully, what are you mumbling about? And why are you holding your side? Is everything all right? I'm fine. It's nothing. Leave me alone. Huh? You look anything but fine, Sully. You're not hurt, are you? Nah. Nah, I... All right. I put on weight and my muscle mass is down. You believe that? We're fighting a war and I'm getting a gut. Um... What? Are you sure? You look great to me, same as ever. Hell no! Then you aren't looking hard enough. Wait, didn't we meet two days ago? Yeah, what's your point? Oh, never mind. Whoa. Well, this is a side of you I've never seen. Mm -hmm. You haven't seen a lot of me. Or my beaver. The hell are you talking about? Yeah. Well, I just didn't think you were the kind of person to worry about her figure. Um... Gods, but you are a blooming ninny. This isn't about looks. I said my muscle mass had dropped. And that's going to affect my combat, which could get my ass killed. Sorry. <laughs> ah, I mean, uh, yes, of course, I get it. Please don't hurt me. Nah. Hurt you? Why the hell would I do that? Oh. Oh. Um, well, if you are worried about this weight redistribution, you could try this. Mm -hmm. God, it smells like some horse slop. What is it, some kind of jerky? <laughs> it's a rare form of dried seaweed, actually. I brought it back in town. The shopkeeper said it contained insane quantities of fiber. Then he kept saying insane and cackled while doing a little dance. <laughs> Quite an odd fellow, really. Can I recruit that guy? I feel like he would fit in here. Hmm, <clears throat> sounds risky. Um. Well, I know how brave you are. Right. Is that a dare? Fine then, I'll try it. Yeah. Great. To tell you the truth, I put on a few pounds myself lately. I've been meaning to drive the seaweed, but I was too scared. Uh, too busy. Too busy. <laughs> yeah, you're de you're definitely not a test subject or anything. Uh, yeah? 
Ha, too much pie. That's your problem. All right then, hey you. Let's see who can get in shape faster. You and your robes or me and my beaver. Okay, could you stop saying it like that, please? Gildred, I thought you said you weren't going to joke, but I lied! Anyways, chapter two. This map is a bit of a bastard. Let's save again because I'm paranoid, man. God forbid I have to skip through all those supports that I just spent so much time on. For chapter two, the shepherds. Where do I even begin with this one? I guess we can begin right here with this asshole right here who doesn't bring his weapon to the fight. I don't know why. Here we are, the shepherd's garrison. Go on, make yourself at home. Really, this is where you wanted to bring me, Lisa? <sighs> hey, you, shut up. <sighs> Lisa, my treasure, are you all right? I've been on pins and needles. I feel like she'd be very, very prissy. Well, she is. I mean, look, who, who carries a parasol with them? That's how you know she's fancy. I don't know of the two who I would use. I kind of want to use people who I don't normally use. I know that much. And somebody made the case for Virion, so... I don't know, man. I don't know, man. It wasn't a very strong case, but apparently he has the same birthday as I do. So, I mean, I almost feel some kind of moral obligation at this point, you know what I mean? Oh, hey, Maribel. What? Oh, hey, yourself. I sprouted 14 gray hairs spreading over you. Aw, oh, you worry too much. I can handle a battle or two. Although I could do without the bugs and the bear barbecue. Somewhere silently, Frederick died a little bit on the inside. Hey, Squirt, where's Krom? I bet he had a rough time out there without old Teach and his trusty axe. Oh, so you're Teach now, Vake. Is that it? Ha ha ha. Oh, that's depressing. And here I thought people were just born lacking wits. It can be taught? <laughs> Got him. See, I don't understand why people don't appreciate this part of Awakening. I don't know, man. I think it's charming. I really do. Ha! Never doubt the bait. Wait, was that an insult? No shit. Beg pardon, but when might we see the captain? You won't believe this. Poor Sumia. She's simply been beside herself with concern. Her eyes were scanning the horizon all day during training. Now we've just gone into straight up Alincia territory, <laughs> but somehow it seems like it works. She might have earned a few bruises, fighting blindfolded. Aw, <laughs> oh, Sumia, that's so sweet of you to worry about Krom. Well... Worry? Well, I... He's our captain and our prince. Of course I'd worry. Yeah, we gotta keep her away from Krom. <laughs> we just have to. Supports be damned. It's gotta be Robin or nothing, man. So, who's the stranger? No one's stranger than you, Vike. <laughs> Why is Lisa such a savage? Why do I like Lisa way more than Owain? Yeah, I said it. I don't care. I'll say it every chapter if I have to. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, obviously. Don't take it personally. He's just terrible. <laughs> but allow me to introduce Hey You. She just joined the Shepherds. Crumbs made her our new tactician. You should see all the tricks she's got up her sleeve. <laughs> oh, yeah? Could she do this? <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> Classy. <laughs> I'm sure I have much to learn in the belching arts, Teach. In any case, it's a pleasure to make your acquaintances. Ah, oh, fake! That was abhorrent! Must you, baseborn oaks, pollute even the air with your buffoonery? And you, hey you, don't encourage him. I'd hoped you were cut from a finer cloth. <laughs> okay, Maribel, chill, chill. Would you like to have some fun here, man? That's all. Don't take it to heart, hey you. Maribel warms to people slowly. Or never. Or burns too quickly. <laughs> but yeah, just give her time, probably. Now, why can't I have Sumia right now, though? Like, you know what I mean? Because <laughs> I would like to use Sumia today, please, not tomorrow. Ah, Captain, you've returned. I was, I mean, we were so... God damn it, Sumia! Ah. Huh? Uh, Samia, are you alright? Those boots of yours again. No, I mean, yes. I mean, uh... <laughs> I like Samia. I like most of the characters in this game, to be honest. I can't really think of anybody who really gets under my skin. Uh, not really. 
I'm sure I'll eat my words sooner or later. I always do. Oh, I always do. <laughs> Don't worry, somebody will come along to nitpick me. I have, I have no doubt. I have no doubt. All right, listen, everyone. In the morning, we'll be marching to Regina Ferox. Regina Ferox? What? To Regna Ferox. Regna Ferox? Yes. Yes, a unified kingdom to Elise's north, inhabited by barbarians, or so it's said. Hmm. Warriors are what they are, and will need their strength to quell this new menace. Typically, the Exalt would request such aid in person, but given recent events, well, the people might worry should my sister suddenly leave the capital. So the task has been passed on to us. Now, this mission is strictly voluntary, so if it, so, if for any reason... Right. I volunteer- God damn it, Lisa! <laughs> Me too! You'll be needing all teach along for such a delicate mission! <clears throat> I... I, um... Yes, Sumia? Captain! It's just that I'm not quite sure I'm ready for a proper mission just yet. No, you are! We need the experience on you now! <laughs> I'd probably just get in the way. Well, well, you can stay behind the main group, and if a battle is met, just watch and learn, okay? Your choice, of course, but some lessons can only be learned on the battlefield. Huh? Well, if you think it wise, Captain. Hmm. Just stay by me, and you'll be fine. Oh, thank you. Oh, yes. I mean, yes, sir, I'll do that. She does need the speed, after all. Are you ready? You know, I gotta be honest, I really like that scene. I really did. I think it did a very good job of establishing that these guys are all friends with each other, right? The Shepherds are friends. There's not really a whole lot of debate to that after that scene. And I love the way that they actually went about this because we didn't spend a whole bunch of time expositing about random crap that we don't get to see. No, we get to see them acting as friends, joking around, poking fun at each other. Imagine how much worse that would be if instead Vike and Lisa were like, Oh yeah, remember all those times we spent together in battle? Da 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 da. How boring is that? Honestly, how boring is that compared to just showing these guys interacting in a human way? I think that is the best possible way they could have done it. And I think it does a good job of establishing these guys as sort of this tight-knit group, you know what I mean? Now, I haven't read all the supports or anything like that, but I would be willing to bet that if we go further into the supports, then we can get some more details and things like that. I, I just don't know. It's not taking very much for me to find that this game does have its own unique charm to it. But honestly, I think some aspects so far do hold up. However, we have Chapter 2 right here, so there will be other aspects of this game that most certainly do not hold up. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> Is everyone ready? We have a long march ahead. Wait for me. W wait for me. Yeah, I think that Stahl deserves the sinus voice, if anything, right? He seems like that kind of guy. As long as he's not a stalker, too. <laughs> I think that was the funniest comment of all time. For any Fire Emblem Fates part. I cannot believe I never drew the parallel between Silas and a homicidal stalker. Stall. Ah, why am I the last to hear about this expedition to Ferox? What? Huh? Vike was supposed to... Of course, Vike. Vike, did you forget to tell Stall about our mission? No. The Vike never forgets. I just don't always remember, is all. God damn it, Vike! I'm with Lisa on this one. I swear you'd forget your own name if you weren't constantly saying it yourself. Speaking of which, are you sure you remembered your axe this time? Hey. Oh, jeez. Hey, that was one time. Okay, twice. But training sessions don't count. So wait, isn't that his axe in his portrait? And what is he wearing? He's got, like, chains around his neck. I, ooh. Seriously, it looks like he's wearing a dog collar or something. Oh, man. I don't know if I want to touch that. Yeah, that's right. Vice a freak! I like it when you treat me like dirt. Anyway, I got it right here. Teacher's loaded and ready for action. And I promise I will not drop it. Glad to have you along, stall, old buddy. Come on. Uh, that makes one of us. <laughs> yeah, I hate you, Vice. <laughs> I was in such a hurry, I had to mix breakfast. Oh, he's talking about himself. Oh, I thought he was... I thought he was trying to say, Yeah, I just hate you. I hate you so much, Vike. Oh, I definitely have my issues with this guy. Who the hell fails to bring a weapon to combat? That's all I want to know. There were muffins and cakes and... Well, I can tell you about it when we march in. Um... Uh, your name is Stahl, right? Hmm. Oh, I'm sorry, hey you. This is Stahl, one of our finest. <laughs> 
Hello, hey you. Or hey you, hello. Muriel told me we had a new shepherd. Uh, Muriel's one of our mages. Our only mage, in fact. She should catch up soon. Lisa does not count. I don't want to hear it. Neither does Maribel. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Rickon, though, right? Yeah. Rickon doesn't count either. Fight me. <laughs> Gods, have the risen spread this far? Huh? Risen. Right. We needed a name for this new threat, so the council gave them one. <clears throat> Everyone, remember what we're up against. Say, wait a minute. Weren't they called Risen on Chapter 1? And I thought Robin could see the enemy's stats, so shouldn't she know? You know what? Forget it. I'm thinking too hard about this gameplay storyline segregation, Deltray. Come on now. Everyone, remember what we're up against. Enter the Vake. Ha <laughs> ha! They'll remember me once I drive my axe into there. Oh, and I forgot it, didn't I? Wait, my axe! Where's my axe? I had it a second ago! Mike, this is no time for jokes. I'm serious! It's gone! But I just had it! It's gotta be around here somewhere. Keep to the rear, then. The battle is nigh. Alright, listen up. Especially those of you who brought weapons, I'm looking at you, Vike. All weapons have strengths and weaknesses to be- <clears throat> To keep in mind. Lances have an advantage over swords. For example, while swords best axes. We'll want to work this into our strategy whenever possible. Aye, aye, Captain. Okay, so real quickly before we get into this map proper, we have Stahl, one of our next recruits. Uh, we're Sully, basically, and the reason for that is a very simple one. He has really bad base speed. Really bad base speed, only six points, which means that every single enemy on this map that is not a barbarian will double attack him. Other than that, though, he's a little bit bulkier than Sully, but is otherwise interchangeable with her. Again, the big difference here is that since Sully has enough base speed to not get doubled by many things naturally, she has that extra little bit of edge. Even though Stull has a durability lead by technicality, he ends up taking more overall damage. Disregarding pair-ups and things like that, of course. Because you can just pair up somebody who has a really good speed bonus with him or whatever. But you can do the same with Sully and maybe get her doubling. So I definitely have to give the edge to Sully for these two. And also, since somebody had been asking the difference between Lunatic and Lunatic Plus, I think this map right here is the best example of that. Lunatic Plus adds a bunch of random skills, okay? And these skills range from bad for you to absolutely terrible for you. Most notably, early on in the game, Chapter 2 specifically, things such as Hawkeye, which means that you cannot miss your attack. Luna Plus, which means that your defense is always cut in half. Vantage Plus, which means the enemy will always get the first strike. And these are random, so you can't really plan your strategy around that. And on a map like this, that is really big, because there's a very limited number of ways to approach this to begin with. And... Basically, if the enemies can kill Frederick because of too many Luna Pluses or too many Hawkeye Pluses or whatever, then you're just up a creek, man. There's not really too much you can do about that. Supposedly, it is possible to defeat Lunatic Plus with any combination of enemy skills because, again, they are totally random. You have no control over who gets what. And supposedly, it can be defeated regardless of that, but... At the end of the day, it's just a huge RNG fest. And... It really limits the amount of characters who are viable. Because somebody like Sully, for example, is already struggling to not get one-rounded by everything as is. And if you were to take Luna Plus on top of that, or Hawkeye Plus, or whatever, it just completely crushes any chance of her being a viable unit. And that is the same for 90% of the cast, unfortunately. It really hurts their long-term viability. Whereas on Lunatic Mode, most characters, I want to say, can still grow out of their weakness, if that makes sense. The stats between the two modes are the same, but the element of random abilities really just changes things in a huge way. You'd almost have to kind of play it yourself uh, to see what I'm talking about, or check out the Lunatic Plus livestream, either one. But I don't foresee us having nearly as much difficulty on this map here today on Lunatic as we did on Lunatic Plus, I can tell you that. I didn't take Fred off the Silverlands, did I? No, I didn't. We're very dead, huh? It's well, I guess we get to see what happens. Yep, <laughs> there it is. Man, didn't even give me the chance. Didn't even give me the chance. That's crazy! <laughs> Damn, my carelessness for the sake of my liege. I cannot fill here. Well, th there wasn't really too much I could do about that other than not be trash. 
It's really my own fault for not unequipping the Silver Lance. Obviously, we can't take that. No way. No way in a million years. I'm not losing Fred. Y you're high. You're out of your mind. Oh, Krob is very dead himself. <laughs> I mean, look at this. They can just annihilate Krob. Enemies on this map are incredibly dangerous, so we have to be very careful. On the other hand, I think I spent most of that first run talking about Lunatic Plus and crap, so at least we can explain what we're doing here, <laughs> I guess. Damn it! Okay, so the big thing we need to do right off the bat is give the elixir over to Krom with Virion. Then we are going to pair Freddy Boy with Krom. And we're going to draw as many of these guys away from the rest of our group as possible. The danger zone on this map... Uh, let's turn up the game speed real quick. Uh, the danger zone on this map is limited to all but four spaces, so we have to be very careful with anybody who's not fighting. With... Hey you, we're gonna pair her with Sully, and she can take out one of those mercenaries to the right hand side. Now she can't 1v1 them necessarily, but she doesn't die. She's fast enough to not die with Hey you support. Oh, nice one. Dual attack. Nice, nice, nice. And what we're trying to see right here is Freddy basically 1v1ing these guys as best as possible. And this is very important because it's going to keep them away from the rest of our group. They're too weak. They're just way too weak to deal with this many enemies. Oh, nice one, Krom. He's putting in the work this time. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. And now those guys are all congregated around Frederick like that. No! No! I didn't want to skip that. I didn't want to skip that. God damn it. Okay, so here we have Muriel. This time for sure. I have to be honest, though. I don't really know too much about her. From what I can tell, she's probably one of the least popular characters in the entire game. I Is there a good reason for that? I, I really don't know. I know some of these characters pretty well, but not Muriel. I will say she's pretty robotic, so... Loading Muriel.exe Splendid. It seems I've caught up. Now to extirpate these bandits. Wow, that was seriously it. Oh yeah, so worth it. So worth it. Hmm, is that an axe? Why, yes it is. Perhaps someone mislaid it. I'd not thought such dereliction permissible among the shepherds. Still, I'd be remiss to not return this implement to its owner, perhaps along with a stern word or two of disapprobation. Thank you, Muriel. Speaking of which, we can talk about her a little bit as I figure out how the hell I'm getting out of this situation. More likely than not, she's going to chip in, and I I kind of want to try and give this to Viria, no lie. Obviously, hey, you is the easy choice, but... Well, at any rate, Muriel is actually pretty okay. From what I remember, she actually does have access to the Sorcerer Reclass option, which is pretty huge in this game because Nosferatu is an incredible spell by any metric. By any definition of the word, it's probably the best spell in the entire game, besides, like, a versus Knight. No, that's not quite enough. Maybe if Muriel pairs up with Lisa. Yeah, that'd probably be enough to get that done, I want to say. At any rate, her growth rates are solid enough. Her only real thing is that she is frail as all hell. I think even with the maximum defense that she could possibly have on this map, uh, like from Frederick, for example, I think she would still be getting one shot by the Barbarians. Yeah, we will pair those two up. Now, do I want to give it to Muriel or Virion? Both of them are pretty solid, honestly. Whoa, 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 whoa. let's slow down. Muriel is pretty solid. Virion is Virion. Ah, uh, it's not enough damage without another pair up somewhere along the way. At any rate, though, Muriel can be worthwhile to train if you can pull it off. On Lunatic, I want to say it's not too bad. On Lunatic Plus, just forget it. Just forget it. I mean, you can see right here, though, she doesn't do horribly. 11 damage isn't so bad. Yeah, we have to use Lisa for this, but... This is Lisa's best purpose at this point anyways, really. Just for that extra... Oh, man, hiccups, I'm sorry. Just for that extra little bit of damage, you know what I mean. And sure, yeah, of course, she heals too, but... You don't need that every single turn. It's much more important to be able to kill people like so. Get it, Virion. Let's do this. Seems like a good idea. Oh. Oh, the animations were off, of course. I meant to hit L. Now, what I want to do here is try and pull some of these guys away from Frederick, if I can. For two reasons, really. One, he doesn't really want to be taking all of these soldiers because those are the most dangerous by far. They will almost certainly hit, and I cannot afford to use the lance, so they will have weapon triangle on me. It also helps because we can get more experience on other characters, so I'm thinking, hey, you, probably. Yeah, seems to be the best bet, I want to say. Uh, let's go ahead and unpair Stall with Vike, and get this axe from Muriel as well. Yeah, don't they have a special conversation if you do this? I think that they do. Uh, take Stall, drop you off. There we what? go. Yeah, they do. Whoa, my axe! Uh. I wondered what manner of ignoramus would mislay their weapon. Now I know. Thanks. Thanks, Muriel. 
Uh, for the axe anyway. I like how, look at how Muriel looks here. She looks like she is just about done shutting down conversational protocol. Beware. Beware. Perhaps next time I'll use a spell to fasten it to your hands permanently. <laughs> I don't know if people really like Muriel or not, but I think I'm going to have some fun with her, that's for sure. Uh, let's take this elixir away from Krom now and use that on Fred. We need to keep him topped off at all times. This looks kind of risky, but it's in reality not too bad. I would have really liked to dual attack there, though, I won't lie. The biggest issue is, of course, that those bandits, uh, the, what, what, what are they? The barbarians. If they decide to hit, that's obviously really bad because they do a fair amount of damage, but they only have about a 20 or so to even do it. And... I do remember somebody saying during the live stream that they feel like this game is just a little bit too ridiculous with it because your strategies at the beginning at the end of the day still rely on you to dodge and things like that. Which, you know, that's... That's... Kind of true. Like, I'm trying to think of a different way to say it, but I, I mean, I see where they're coming from. There, there's... There, there's issues with it because even if it is going to work out your way most of the time, the fact is it's not a 100% strategy. I guess that's what I'm trying to say here. And that's where I really agree with these, uh, that's where I really agree with the guy who brought that up. Because, you know, if you think of a different game like, say, New Mystery of the Emblem, okay, sure, there's some RNG to it, but it's not nearly like this. Not nearly like this. One thing I will say, though, is that insofar as hit rates and things like that it's really no worse than say a fire emblem six it's really no worse than that at all and you have a better chance to dodge the attacks that you need to in this game just because of the way things work hmm, do we want to heal uh, what do we want to heal the two hp frederick do we want to heal <laughs> yeah we want to heal him i'm just kind of sketchy because i think those three soldiers could probably gang up on him and murder him but again that relies on uh, some of the barbarians hitting as well and to go back to the Fire Emblem 6 example, even if hit rates are sort of similar between two games, if not skewed more in your favor in Awakening, at the end of the day, we can't afford to be hit. And there wasn't too much else we could do about that. Because let's think about this, right? If, if Fred isn't distracting these guys, then we're just putting our RNG elsewhere on moves that are less reliable. On moves that are less reliable. Because think about like the bandit in the mountain at the start of the map, right? Well, if we want to try and take him out and make it safe for other characters, well, now we're fighting somebody on a mountain. Which risk do I want to take? Fred dodging the 20%? Or hitting a bunch of 60s to 70s on a guy standing in a mountain tile? Well, the choice is clear, I think. Unlike this move with this last guy right here. Well, Muriel does a good amount. We should probably start with her, I want to say. Okay, so what we do is we transfer these two. Oh, I just realized my mistake. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I was trying to set this up for Virion. Yeah, I can't do that because I needed the damage boost from Lisa, but we can still take the thunder from Hey You. Get enough damage this way, and then Hey You can at the very least be the one to kill this guy. Oh, wait, maybe, maybe Virion can do this. Yeah, 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 because Sully, Sully backed us up. We can kill this guy with Virion anyways. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Hell yeah, Sully. She's making a strong case for herself. I didn't really notice this before, but she's, she's pretty decent. She's pretty decent. She can definitely help. Oh man, hiccups are back. <laughs> she can definitely help out early on though, securing a lot of these kills because she doesn't die to a lot of these guys. I'm like half my goddamn team. <laughs> I don't know if I specifically pointed this out or not, but the soldiers on this map have 11 attack speed and the bandits have 10. So the slowest of our characters are actually getting doubled by the bandits. What we want to do here though is we're going to pair stall with Vike. Yeah, we can pair stall with Vike and... Uh, Draw in one of these barbarians. I think we'll lead with Vike. Yeah, that seems to make more sense. Of the two, if I was going to use one for the long term, I would definitely use the Teach. Mostly because I never have. And if, if I'm training any kind of Cavalier, it's going to be Sully. It's a nice one, Teach. He has his teaching instruments here. That's right, Brigid. You're going to learn today. Who needs a ruler? Who needs a chalk? You can do this. We're very dead. Yeah, Fred getting hit there, that's probably going to be it, isn't it? <laughs> Unless we get a lucky guard or dodge, or something of that nature. HP strength defense res, not horrible, but I don't think that defense is going to be enough to save us. And that's kind of the problem with early game lunatic. 
no matter what you do, really, some of your strategy is gonna fall to RNG. And that's... it's not really great, I have to admit. It's one of my biggest problems with Lunatic Mode, actually. In that, RNG really never stops being a factor until, like, the halfway point or so, I would say, because you have to figure, right? You have to worry about not only your hit rates and things like that, but also your rolling RNG for level ups as well. And because enemies jump so much in stats at certain points, you just gotta keep up. You have to. But it's not really in your control either. So there is there's a great deal of RNG in this game. It's unfortunate but true, sadly. If you can get past that though, I think that there's some fun to be had here. I'm just trying to get past chapter 5, man. <laughs> That's about the point where I really think that Awakening hits a stride for a little bit. Damn it, Fred! Okay, so one of these soldiers came to the right-hand side this time. That might complicate things a little bit, but as long as only people who can survive around with him are in his range by the end of the turn, it shouldn't be too bad, and we can definitely do that because we can force him through the forest if need be. So we might have to form up some kind of wall, I'm thinking. How do I give this mercenary to Virion? Is it possible, or...? Well, I guess we start with Hey You. That seems to make the most amount of sense to me. And sorry, animations, I I'm just gonna turn them off until we get back to where we were, at least. But there we go, that's a clean 10 right there. Now, can Virion do this somehow? I don't know that he can, because I really don't want him in range of the soldier. That's the big thing. And I also need to wall up. Hmm. Well, I don't think it's possible. I don't think it's possible, so we can use Muriel to kill this guy. And I do want it to be Muriel because that means that Vike can move next to her. Oh, first we're gonna... Yeah, we should we should take Sully though first. Because Stull needs the extra point of speed, I don't want to forget that. But anyways, as I was saying, we can pair Virion with Vike, which gives him the defense necessary to survive, if I give him the axe. So I wonder who they'll go for. Who the soldier will go for, I mean. Obviously, Fred's gonna put it work and level up for Krom. About time. Hit point, strength, skill, luck. Oh my god, it's gonna be one of those playthroughs, huh? We're not gonna see speed at anyone, are we? Oh man, this is not what I signed up for. This was supposed to be the fun playthrough, man. <laughs> oh man. You hate to see that happen. But hey, level up for Fred. Now, he really needs speed. Hit point, strength, magic, skills, everything but speed. What is going on? Oh my god, I don't really want to complain about that level, but honestly, I would have traded most of that for one point of speed. So they do go for Hey You. I suppose because... Hmm. I don't know, I thought they would have been able to double Vike, so I'm not entirely sure. Maybe I miscalculated or something? I guess. But at any rate, Fred should be fine this time, especially considering one of these soldiers is now down here. The only real trick... Is giving this to Archer Boy, really. But yeah, Fred should be totally safe this time since he's not going to be taking that guaranteed nine. Cool. I don't know if it's possible. This has just really not been the run for Virion. I think we do want to go with Muriel at the very least. We can get a nice aid right there. Give Lisa away as well because that's going to help pay you out because I'm just kind of resigning myself to the fact that Virion can't do this. There was no combination of attacks where he could because of the forest tile. If he wasn't on a forest tile, we might have been able to pull something off there. Now, if this misses, we should still have Soli in the back. So it's not the end of the world. We do hit. Hit point strength. Rez, come on. Robin. Or hey, you. Stop getting bad level ups. <laughs> All of you, in fact. Jeez, man. This is going to be a real trick, I think. Well, we can use Lisa to heal up Hey You a little bit. I was almost thinking about baiting one of those guys over to the right-hand side, but I would have needed somebody else besides Hey You to be able to kill that soldier in that case because... Well, th there was nobody else who could get up there to the right-hand side and pull somebody away from Fred, basically. So, unfortunately, he's going to have to be getting these kills here. <laughs> oh, what next, Hey You? Got our swords. Might I advise patience, my lord? Hey, you is a fine tactician, but we have been working her mercilessly. Even the best of us needs rest. Right. Yes, of course. I'm sorry. Well. Perhaps Hey, you would prefer we choose our own actions at time. Perhaps Hey, you has some weed I could buy. You must be high as hell if you think anything special of the auto battle feature. Don't do it. 
What? But how will we know that she wants us dead? Uh. We can use a simple command that lets us die on our own. So long as Heiyu realizes such a strategy will almost never work. Acting as we say fit may not always lead us to the best course of action. In fact, never. Okay, real talk. Real talk, guys. Has anybody ever had any success with the auto battle feature on anything besides, like, normal mode? That's not really a knock against normal mode. I just... I can't see it working on anything above that. The game seems like it's a little bit too hard, honestly. Maybe hard mode? I, I, I doubt it. I really doubt it. Anyways, let's try and get this soldier to somebody other than Frederick. That shouldn't be too much of a trick. I'm kind of thinking about Sully, maybe. Yeah, she should actually be able to survive easily. Yeah, let's go for it. Let's go for it. Because we have Lisa right there. She can actually bring Sully back to the point that she is no longer in danger. And with the rest of our characters, honestly, we're just going to try to unpair. Of course, use Lisa to heal, as we say. And this is looking pretty good. All we got to really think about now is that group up in the north-hand side... Well, this should be fine. Like I said, we have to be in range of multiple of them in order to start getting them to move. But I don't really want to do that just yet. So Sully takes that guy out, out of there, which is just great. I'm really thinking about Sully this run, guys. I, I I honestly am. I've never used her before. Not like that. But it seems like a good idea. Speaking of good ideas, Fred versus this guy. With him on the fort, plus the Silver Lance, plus potentially Krom? No, no Krom. Why would you help out here, Krom? I agree. I agree. <laughs> well, no big deal. But with Fred on the fort, he's totally safe and he's going to be recovering enough to stay healthy enough for anything that I would care about. The bandits aren't doing too much either because of that nice little boost, plus the healing in combination with that. Yes, now we're going to use Lisa to heal up Hey You. Yeah, that should be just about fine because that's going to give her enough health. Yeah, so it's gonna be more Frederick emblem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know the stereotypes. It is a little bit true. Frederick does need to put in a lot of work right off the bat. There's just no avoiding it, sadly. Not really too much different from the most extreme versions of other games. The only difference is that here it's kind of required. It's kind of required that Frederick at least does something. But as you can see, we've been sort of pulling away smaller groups, even if only one or two at a time and dealing with them with the rest of our team. And I don't necessarily mind that. That can be kind of fun. That can be kind of fun to me. Because you have to really... Oh, hold on. Excuse me. Blah! Because you have to really use everybody to their fullest potential if you actually want to kill anything with anybody whose name is not Frederick. Or like a super power leveled Robin. At least at this point in the game. And that can be fun. That can be fun. I like working as a team like that. It fits the, uh, fits the motif of the game, I think. Well, with all the pair-ups and everything. It just seems like it makes some amount of sense, so I see what they're going for. I just think it's a little bit too extreme at times. Yeah, heal back Sully again. I can't believe how decent she is here, honestly. Let's go, Lisa! Hit points, magic, skill, speed, look, the fire rise! Yo! <laughs> Unreal! I'm sorry, I take it all back, Lisa. We're using her. We're using her. Didn't Odin do the same crap to me, too? I don't know what's going on with this family. All we gotta do is heal up, really. Yeah, we'll just heal up. We already got Sully out there in range of that one mercenary on the right-hand side. So that's gonna pull him down to the rest of our group, and we can continue to do basically the same thing we've been doing all along, right? Let Frederick handle the majority, and then pull a few of them away to gain experience on other characters. I will say that I might be, I might be spreading it a little bit too thin here. So that's something I'm gonna have to keep in mind, but... Since we haven't really been getting a whole lot of speed, I can't really do the fastest strategies that I'm aware of on the next map anyways. We can talk about that a little bit more when we get there, obviously. There's an Iron Lance. Sweet. Right. Hmm. Finders keepers. Losers weepers. Always the savage, that Fred. Yeah, here comes the Merc. He's not doing too much to Soli, honestly. Yeah, look at that. She might even be able to have another go at him if I want to. I haven't really decided if I want to yet or not. She might be able to draw in somebody else, and that's probably better, I think. Ooh, nice dodge there, Fred. Nice dodge there, Fred. He was in no danger, trust me. Especially with Krom putting that guy into the dirt. That's what he should have been doing all this time. Wow, he's already level 4. Already level 4 and no speed, my guy. Oh, man, that is a bad look. That is such a bad look. I don't know what I'm doing with you, Fred. <laughs> I really don't. 
I already told the people that you don't fall off until the late game. And you're actually gonna fall off before we even hit the mid game. That's crazy. He's not supposed to, anyways. Yeah, the boss is essentially useless. Everybody is useless before the might of Frederick. Yeah, so I could honestly have another go at that guy if I need her to. But I would rather try and give it to Archer Boy. Which should be possible. I'm thinking if we lead with Muriel. Right? Yeah, 10 9. Yeah, more than enough. If I move Frederick right here, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is where we want to be. Because if I move Frederick right there, it's actually going to cut the boss off from the group to the south. And we can start putting damage onto this guy right now. And depending on how he wants to move, we may be able to get somebody other than Frederick to go kill that guy for me. I'm thinking that's an idea. And we can pull that... We can pull the soldier to the south right now. Without being in range of the second Barbarian. By using Sully. Yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about. She's actually kind of decent. She's actually kind of decent. Words I never thought I'd be saying. Of course, we do have to heal her up. Uh, yep, we're out of range of the boss, so that's that. Get to Elisa! Can't believe that level up, man. Alright, Muriel. Muriel! I, I, mean, I actually kind of want to use everybody. Oh, I don't know if I want to use Muriel anymore. I don't know if I want to use Muriel anymore. That's not really her fault, though. It's that damn patience ability from those mercenaries giving them plus 10 avoid. Uh, yeah, I, I can't give it to Virion. There's no way. There's no possible way. Because I can't attack first with AU. It's an impossibility. She gets double. Oh, 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 Vike. Man, that would have been sweet. If Vike would have landed that. Obviously not the most likely outcome. We'll take the fire, though. And the thunder, because if anything, hey, you he is more likely to be doing work at this point. We want the fire, though, for the extra little hit boost, because that guy does again. He has that annoying ability. I hate it so much. I, I will say that. I'm glad that they took these abilities out, because they realize. They realize how unnecessary things that randomly boost the void actually are. So I can appreciate the fact that they seem to learn from their mistakes pretty well. Now, if there would have been some way to get Krom out in the lead there, that would have been ideal, obviously. But I, I can't see it for the life of me. This, on the other hand, seems to be working out fantastically. Sully's gotten herself a fair decent amount of kills here. And she's gotten lots of chip experience as well. Not quite a level up, but good enough, honestly. Now, of course, this boss has no hope. This is a no hope situation right here. Yeah, that's what I thought. A little bit too easy. And honestly, if Sully can make it up there, I may be able to give it to the Archers of Archers. And by the way, one of you guys did explain that it's probably a joke. Yeah, just heal up. Uh, the archist of archers thing is probably a joke about the fact that Virion is an archduke. Of course, of course. How did I not realize that? Oh my god, I feel dumb. I actually feel like I lost IQ. So thank you guys for making me feel uh, special. Yep. This is going to be the end of you. We just got to transfer Virion on over as we do. Uh, oh, we got to unequip Krob, though. We don't want him to accidentally dual attack, obviously. Now, go in with Freddy and the Bronze Sword. And that's going to spell the end of this guy. I mean, Virion could miss, I guess, but come on, let's be honest. Besides, we got to get him points with Sully. After all, oh god, what did he say? The most beautiful thing he's ever seen. Do you love me yet, my dear Sully? Who the hell are you? <laughs> Bleh. Yeah, I love the dialogue in this game. It really is something else. Not quite a level up, unfortunately, but that's going to be that. Now, there are much faster ways to do this map, but they all rely on the fact that Frederick should, in theory, be able to double those guys. It's at least the Brigands. Uh, I keep saying Brigands, but the Barbarians, I hope you understand. If you can double at least the Barbarians, it's all cool. If not, don't worry. Just take a little bit of extra time. Not a big deal. That's what I did. I don't feel bad or anything. Finally, in good riddance. But if they're appearing this far up the north road, ah. then no path is safe. We'll need to stay wary. Shoot, man. At this rate, you're going to need a wary fighter, Frederick. God damn. Can you believe all of these levels, not a single speed proc? I think I've shown on screen every single level of up that he's gotten. I most certainly should have. So it's not as if... Ugh, forget it. Forget it, man. Anyways, that is going to do it for me today. Next time, we're going to head on to Regna Ferox and see if we can't recruit some help in taking on this new threat. 
I hope that you all enjoyed. If you did, consider leaving a like rating. Helps me out tremendously. I'm looking forward to getting back into this one next time. I actually quite enjoy Chapter 3, so it should be fun. I might have to do it a little bit differently than normal because my stats have not been playing along, I'll be honest, but we'll get to that when we get to that. Let me know your thoughts as well, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. See you then. Peace.